Math time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel! Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. Hey guys, welcome to my class. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing good. For today, we will be discussing about Quadrilaterals But before we start, let's have first this short recall. So name or read the symbols in each numbers. So this symbols denotes parallel and then this is congruent. Measure of angle E, that is how you read this. And then number four, we have segment PQ and parallelogram PQRS. Now, what shape do we have here? So we have these shapes are called as quadrilaterals. Now, what are quadrilaterals in real life? So, ayan, mawi-witness natin yung mga iba't ibang quadrilateral. Makikita natin yan sa paligid lang ng bahay natin or sa paligid lang natin. So, quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four angles, four vertices, and two diagonals. Now let's discuss the different parts of a quadrilateral. For example, we have quadrilateral LOVE. So side is a line segment which joins in any two adjacent sides. So we have a segment LO, segment OV, segment EV, and segment LE. Next we have angle. This is formed between two adjacent sides. Angle can be named using the, verte the vertex or using the three letters. We have angle L or angle OLE, angle O, angle V, angle E. Next, we have diagonal. Diagonal is a line segment joining two non-adjacent vertices. So, in this case, diagonals are segment LV and segment OE. Next, the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. So, angle L plus angle O plus angle V plus angle E is equal to 360 degrees. quadrilaterals hello my name is quad short for quadrilateral the origin of the word quadrilateral is a latin word quantity a variant of four and latus meaning side the sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral is always equal to 360 degrees all quadrilaterals have four straight sides, four vertices, four angles, and two diagonals. 
Now let me introduce to you my family, my quadrilateral family. I have two children, parallelogram and trapezoid. Parallelogram and trapezoid have also children, rectangle, square, rhombus, and isosceles trapezoid. Trapezoid have one pair of parallel lines which are called base. <laughs> types of trapezoid. We have isosceles trapezoids and the right trapezoid. Properties of an isosceles trapezoid. Number one, the legs are congruent. The bases are parallel and the lower base angles are congruent. The upper base angles are also congruent. The diagonals are congruent. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Its opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are also congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Diagonals bisect each other. Any pair of consecutive angles are supplementary. Rectangle square and rhombus are the children of parallelogram here are their characteristics Another form of quadrilateral. It is a flat shape with straight sides. It has two equal adjacent sides. Its diagonals cross at right angles and one of the diagonals bisect each other. A quadrilateral with no pair of parallel sides is called as trapezium. Now here is a quadrilateral family tree. Let's have a short quiz. For 1 to 5, answer true or false. Now, let's find the measure of the missing angle. Again, the measure of the four angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. So, what is the measure of the missing angle?
And that ends our lesson today. See you next meeting. Goodbye. Ito pong muli ang inyong teacher Jane Ellie. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta. Huwag kalimutang i-like, share, comment down below, at lalong-lalo na mag-subscribe. Hanggang sa muli!